So what we're looking at here is my um, shuttle computer. This is in my um, research uh, laboratory based at home. Take a look in here. You'll actually see that um, you know, despite the small form factor, there's a significant amount of space in here for um, you know having a significant what we call multi-core and GPU computer. So um, right over here is actually where the CPU is. This uh, box actually features a uh, special cooling system. It's a heat pipe based system which eliminates the need to have a CPU fan um, which as we all know can contribute greatly to the amount of noise that comes from a computer. Over here um, is the actual RAM. Um, this particular uh, barebone computer system from Shuttle can handle 16 gigabytes of RAM. So these are four 4 gigabyte modules um, and they're able to actually support uh, you know, the communication with all of the cores on the um, CPU. The CPU that I have in here is uh, an Intel uh, core, a quad core um, i7 processor, so, and so running at around 3.06 gigahertz. So the host CPU on this computer itself is quite fast. So, a couple of other things I did with this computer. You can see on the top there that I haven't even bothered to mount this uh, this drive. Um, this is a solid state drive, which actually acts as the boot drive for this computer. And then there is also a conventional, um, you know, a conventional uh, hard drive with moving parts that is uh, providing extra storage, mainly for um, application development that I might be doing on the box. But <clears throat> I pretty much have all the space I need with this 128 gigabyte um, solid state drive for this machine. Now, the, the most interesting thing about this uh, box is that I was actually able to squeeze a Asus uh, GP, GPU or graphics processing unit that can be uh, programmed with the CUDA toolkit. So you can see here that uh, there's this lovely um, card from Asus that is able to fit quite snugly in um, the space of uh, even one of these small form factor computers. And of course, um, these GPUs, uh, especially when we run something like the in-body simulation, really need to be fan cooled. Um, one thing that may not have been obvious when I was running the demo is that the fan actually increases its speed as the processing elements uh, are ramped up. So anyway, that's just a look at this. Um, of course, this is a you know, really great little <clears throat> computer and has no shortage of ports. Um, I mean, I was shocked to actually see that there are a total of eight USB ports available on this. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, eight. Eight USB ports, an external SATA port, two Ethernet ports, and all of the multimedia features you could ever want, probably. And as you can see with the graphics card, there are two DVI ports there, so I can even drive another monitor if I'd like. Anyway, um, that's basically all I have to say about this, but as you can see, this little computing wonder here um, is the one that I described in my article, and you know, can be had for around $1,300 U.S. price. Thank you.